Hello, and welcome to the 4 in 1 show. My name is Danielle, and I am 13 years old. This show is run by youth, hosted by youth, and aimed to inform youth. We will give our perspective as true as we know it. We will also be showcasing some local talent and video shorts. Today, my guest is... Emily, and I am 15 years old. For today's show, we will be discussing the current debate on health care and how it affects youth and their families. This portion of the show is part one. The current healthcare debate focuses on whether to make healthcare accessible to all Americans and how to reduce the rising cost of providing healthcare. The debate on providing healthcare to the public that is mandated and or coordinated by the government has been an ongoing debate since the early 1900s, starting with President Teddy Roosevelt. The issue was also addressed in the 1930s during the Great Depression years by President Franklin Roosevelt. Since that time, there have been health care proposals almost every decade. This past year, in 2009, we are coming closest to passing a health care bill that will affect most Americans. As of the taping of this show, a final health care bill has not been passed and written into law. Health care is a large part of our economy, taking up 15% of this nation's spending. That is, for every dollar we spend, this country, 15 cents of it goes to cover health care costs. So let's begin our discussion. First of all, why do you think the healthcare debate is important? I think it's important because it's gonna affect us in the long run. Our children's children is gonna get affected by this. Um, can have a, a good effect and a bad. If this really turns up not as planned, it's gonna ruin our economy. And it turns out good because, well, everybody gets covered in their health. And it might even ruin our lives. Because you don't know, some people might not have health insurance and they can't get the things that they need to live and they won't be able to, to spend the time with their family that they want until they pass away. But if it would have gone good, then they would be with their family as long as they could and do what they wanted to do. When is the last time you or your family had had to go to the doctor or the hospital? Um, actually, like, four months ago, my mom had to go to the hospital, the emergency room, because uh, her stomach wasn't feeling well, and they did tests, but they couldn't run further more tests because she didn't have the insurance to coverage, and she's still suffering from it, and she does not know what's wrong with her still. The last time I went was with my mother to go see what was wrong with my sister. She wasn't feeling well and she didn't want to get out of bed. So when we went, they just said she was the flu, but if it went up to more views, we had to go take her to the emergency room. A little scary for her. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone in your extended family, such as aunts, uncles, or cousins, have a sickness or disease that you know they are getting regular treatment for? Well, my aunt, she has diabetes and she has to get uh, insulin shots every day and my grandpa before he passed away he had to get uh, dialysis every day as well uh, his ki his kidneys completely shut out and uh, the dialysis just cleans the blood for him it works and then with um, my grandmother she needs to go and go for her pills for diabetes and I really feel sorry for her because they're Horse pills. <laughs> yeah, my, dad's, I think I, my dad's a diabetic and he has all these pills to take every day before he eats or something like that. <laughs> so generally in the U.S., you are able to get health care as a child up until the age of 19, either by coverage under your mom or dad's health care with their job, or you can qualify for a government program that is offered by the state called Medicaid or in CHIP which is short for Children's Health Insurance Program. Medicaid is offered for free to families who are of low income and qualify. qualify. CHIP generally covers families you may not qualify for the Medicaid program because their income is higher, but who do not have another form of insurance for their children. Once you are of retirement age, this is around 65 years old. You then qualify for a government health insurance program called Medicare which was a health care program for seniors that was passed in the 1960s. This program can cover most of your medical costs up through your old age. However, 
If you are between the ages of 19 and 65 years of age, there is currently no government program that covers you if you do not have private health insurance. And you are left to attempt to get health insurance through your employer, if they offer it, or try to buy insurance separately on your own. Were you aware of this gap? No, because oh, I have Medicaid and I thought it would cover you to a certain age if you keep on applying for it. And it just I thought it would like, actually help but I wasn't really aware of it at all. And then I knew a little bit because when I was with um, my uncle and he had his job, he, um, he was able to get shots for the flu and able to go to the hospital. And then after, when he didn't have work anymore, he stopped going to the hospital and I think I wondered why. And then we went to, went to the pharmacy or to, or to the doctor and try to go get shots, he couldn't because he didn't have insurance. Mm -hmm. That happens a lot. Mm -hmm.